Hey guys, Adriel here, and before I start this video, I just wanted to clarify that though at points in this video I may seem critical or harsh, I just want to specify that this video will mostly be a critique of Lyrics' content, unlike my crappy content creator series where I mostly talk about the content creator and their wrongdoings rather than the content alone. In this video, I'll kind of be doing the opposite of that, so if you were expecting an entire video talking about Lyrics as a person, I'm sorry. The matter of the fact is, I don't really know Lyrics as a person, and unlike some of the other people I've talked about on this channel, he hasn't really done anything bad behind the scenes from what I know of, and he hasn't really done anything in poor taste. Well, that's arguable, but we'll get to that later, okay? Just wait for that. Later, Nick Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that this video will mostly be judging his content, rather than debating if he's a terrible person. Mostly. So, let's take a look at some of his content. Larix is by no means as hard to watch as someone like Epic Dude, but it was definitely a challenge for me to sit down and watch his videos. I will give him the benefit of the doubt though and admit that I actually do agree with some of his videos, but that doesn't excuse what I found to be one of his biggest flaws, that flaw being his actual commentating skills. No, dude, you, that, that comes across as so homo. You sound like a fucking idiot. He constantly sounds like he's throwing a tantrum. He's always yelling. <laughs> Welcome to the fucking internet. Fucking trolling. Are, are you trolling? No, this guy's trolling. Are you fucking kidding me? You have to be consistent with this your whole goddamn life or else you look like a retard. You can't talk about anyone, motherfucker. Give me a fucking break. You're so naive. I know you're fucking delusional, Dunya, but are you out of your goddamn mind? You think, like, at, at all, you think that you built your channel at all, you did the bare minimum amount of work. You did no fucking work, you didn't upload consistently, you were all over the place, and you constantly were uploading bullshit ass content, like bikini haul reviews. What the fuck? What the fuck? What, 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 what? Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a good thing that his commentary isn't boring, I guess you could say, but it isn't really engaging either, because it gets to a point where he just keeps yelling and crying and whining to the point where you just want to turn it off and find something to watch that won't make your head drop. Another reason why I and a lot of others don't really like Lyrics' content is the fact that when you really think about it and analyze it, a lot of it is pretty much pointless. He constantly nitpicks in his videos and though it may be hard to notice at first, once you do, it's hard not to. You uh, wear a mask at uh, the drive through here? No, you just put your shirt over your face. Did you do that? What, this? Yeah. Yeah, why not? As opposed to what, putting a fucking mask on? Yeah, it's a little cringe, don't you think? What, covering your face with a t-shirt? Yeah. Put, you think putting a mask on is less cringe than covering yeah. your face with a t-shirt? Yeah. Dude. You gotta get out with of California. The mask? And then what do you guys want? And this part right here, even though we have much more to cover, Jesus, we're only scratching the surface, but this was one of the most uncomfortable moments in this whole thing, dude. He, had, he then adds this segment in, something that sh absolutely I feel like I would have cut out or I wouldn't mention in my documentary, something that's completely irrelevant, but he decides to keep in this clip of Sam Hyde going against like masks and him saying that masks are bad and instead he's gonna cover his face with his shirt instead. I don't know, man. I really I really am getting the impression that he's trying to really paint this guy out to seem like some crazy conspiracy theorist wacko unhinged guy. I don't know, man. Who who the fuck keeps in this segment? Why else would you keep in this segment of Sam Hyde just making like little memes about the mask mandate or telling you that wearing masks are cringe? It seems like you're pushing a narrative, dude. I don't know, dude. The shit that you said in the beginning about how you just wanted to see more about this guy, more about this mysterious guy who you find interesting, it doesn't seem that innocent. It doesn't seem like you're doing this in good faith. That's the impression I'm getting. You guys could be getting something completely different, but I have no clue what the fucking need was to keep this segment in. Lyrics, for the past two years, masks and vaccines have become a pretty controversial topic and are still relevant to our day-to-day -day lives, so I'm not sure why Lyrics thinks that the inclusion of this clip is pointless. I mean, it seems pretty relevant to me. In one of Lyrics' most recent videos, he talks about some guy who basically got a bunch of FaZe Rug tattoos in order to get the attention of FaZe Rug himself and meet him. And Keemstar covered this on Drama Alert, he made a few comments poking fun at him, and that was it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even really like Keem personally, but it's clear to see that he meant no ill will with the video. So then the guy who was getting the tattoos basically made a video crying about it like a baby, and making it seem as if he got bullied by Keem. So how does Lyrics cover this video? Well, he too cries like a baby. That was the whole segment. 
That was all he said. This guy's no balls. This guy's no ball. What happened to motherfuckers' balls nowadays? Th did everybody just did everybody turn trans? Fucking trolling. Are are you troll? No, this guy's trolling. Th this is a troll. Why the ever living shit do you think you're entitled to an interview on Drama Alerts just because he talked about your story? Are you fucking kidding me? Give me a fucking break. You're so naive. I'm kill. I no no. I'm ending life. I'm ending life. Is not. <laughs> Christ, calm down, it isn't that serious. The lack of self-awareness in this video is laughable. He gets on the guy about molding over such an insignificant thing, and then Lyrics does the exact same thing. Like, maybe calling him a pathetic loser in the title is a bit much, my guy. And Christ, look at that video length! God damn! Was this really worth talking about for 18 full minutes? Maybe if Lyrics had a script, his videos would have less angry rambling and also be shorter. I mean, it's evident that he doesn't have a script for most of his videos. He uploads 10 to 20 minute videos daily, with little to no editing, and in some cases he just reacts to it in real time. Of course, there's nothing wrong with this, if you know what you're doing, but Lyrics clearly doesn't. But if he wants to put quantity over quality, I guess that's his choice. Before I start talking about lyrics, I would like to thank Adriel for kindly asking me to join this collab. Adriel is a nice and respectable individual. He definitely didn't have a Remington Model 870 aim at my head. Of course, this is all fake because none of this ever happened. Adriel is a nice man. He is a nice guy. Subscribe to him and subscribe to me. I was a fan of Lyric's keyword being was. I used to thought that his content was honestly not really that bad. His videos were pretty entertaining, like if I had autoplay on, I wouldn't mind if his videos came out. But now I think his content is boring. It's the same shit over and over again and I grew bored of his content pretty quickly. His content is calling people gay or a retard and he throws slurs in every opportunity he gets. But it's okay guys because he said it's a joke, which is something that the edgy 12 year olds that raises on Roblox would say. <laughs> As we all know, slurs are the big bad. I don't need to explain why it's bad unless you're a close-minded cunt that is stuck in their own lunatic fantasy. His content is not only boring, it can be very lazy at times. I may be lazy with my upload schedule but I don't think I will stoop down this low for content. I thought his first Inebu video was pretty good, like he brought up valid points but his video about Inebu apparently responding is definitely the best video he has ever made because it's just an unedited vod of Oji RFC. Now this is how you do commentary. All you other commentators should shut the fuck up and take notes from the one and only lyrics because this is the right way to commentate. All you have to do is commentate for at least 4 minutes and then just put a ra random fucking word of a guy reacting to your content. This is why I love lyrics. This is the content I have come for. He's truly the savior of commentary. He brought back the 2016 commentary perfectly by being a lazy fuck and doing the same thing over and over again. The savior of commentary also uploaded this absolute masterpiece of a video called this youtuber is a pathetic loser where he doesn't mull for the rest of the video and he gives out valid points because Larix makes great content he does not whine about internet drama and call people gay for 20 minutes he won't do such a thing he's a great and respectable guy this title is the type of insult that we expect from a generic high school bully in a half-ass netflix show not from a fucking 18 year old and apparently 2016 commentary is when you make a 30 minutes video about calling your teacher gay this is big commentary i personally love 2016 commentary because all you have to do is call people gay until you reach the 10 minutes mark till to this day i have no idea why people are nostalgic for this type of commentary would you rather have videos with clearly effort put in or a half ass video molding and calling people gay pick one Lyrics is a YouTuber whose content generally revolves around commentary that includes other creators and his viewpoint on them or a topic that that said person may be affiliated with. And theoretically, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's his execution that leads to the argument that his channel's content is outdated and even childish to a certain extent. This type of content derives from the whole 2016 edgy glow up era where everyone thought it was cool to poke fun at people on the internet for little to no reason. But the majority of people back then on the internet would simply condone this behavior or refute the idea of it being wrong entirely. Also, there's plenty of thumbnails where he just reeks of edgelord and proves to us that he has to rely on these tactics that anyone can pull off and properly execute to achieve a minute source 
of exposure. While everyone may be able to pull these tactics off, not everyone has the innate ability to be funny or make people laugh. And that premise shows itself to be very evident in Lyrics' content. And because this humor is so outdated and dry, this gives us somewhat of an insight on what type of person he might be. It gives us an insight because there's barely even an incentive to post it anymore, meaning that there has to be some other motive behind putting so much effort into it. Whether it's because he legitimately believes he's genuinely funny, or because he wants to rise up to the used to be status of channels like Leafy or iDubbbz when they were in their prime, it's clearly his drive to upload obsolete styled content like this. Yo, what's up boys, girls, non-binary people? So basically, a hot minute ago, I made a video on lyrics in which I called him out for lying during his debate with Jaden and a lot of other stuff, and uh, and guess what? He lied about his lies! Whoa! With the intro, he said a bunch of fucked up shit. Like, he said that, like, she was, like, pretending to be a girl, and, like... Wait, what are you saying? I never said that. I never invalidated and said that Jaden wasn't a woman. I never invalidated whether it was actually true or not, if she was transgender or not. I never said that once. I, I never did- What are you- Where are you getting this information? He cries all day about he wishes he was a girl. The funniest part about this is he literally gets all of his political opinions from six-year-old Gamergate videos, bro. He's got, like, a playlist full of, like, hour-long SJW compilations that he just, like, watches on repeat fucking all day long dude and he's like oh this is where i get my inspiration yes i'm gonna oh i wonder which uh, uh feminazi i'm gonna criticize today hmm yes bro and all the people who used to make those gamergate videos have either died fallen into irrelevancy or have changed their minds examples thunderfoot Chris Raygun, Shoe On Head, some of the biggest anti SJW creators back in the day are now like social democrats, bro. They're like long gone from what they were before. And this man is just like not changed with the times, bro. You gotta change with the times, goodbye, bro. Like literally, bro. Whenever this man has no nothing to make a video, bro, he has no content at all, the fucking bottomless pit of his brain is just completely empty, bro. He literally just types in feminism in the TikTok search bar and then nitpicks and milks until he's reached eight minutes of content, bro. He literally paints a narrative that all feminists are fucking evil because, like, you know, 0.1% of them are fucking crazy. Dude, and the worst part is that he's literally a chronic weeb, bro. This man is a mega weeb. Holy shit. Just taking a look at this man's like tweets for a second really makes you think, you know? Really makes you think. After we, he said things like this. So just keep him. Hey, if you, no, if you guys know the slightest thing about me, you know I hate the over sexualization of shit. Uh, that, that's like, that's my, like, gig. That's like me. I, I can't stand that shit. And especially with anime too, there's so many goddamn weirdos and pervs. I can't stand that. Alright, keep that in mind. Keep what he, he, he just said. This is like the sexualization of anime, alright? We're gonna, we're gonna keep that in mind. You put that in the back of your tiny little uh, looking brain. And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna look at some of these uh, tweets that he's liked. And uh, keep in mind, he's liked about uh, 5,000 fucking anime girl tweets. And we're gonna, we're gonna look at some of this shit. Okay, so first up to bat, we got uh, uh, appears to be a, an anime girl who uh, has overdosed on lean. And has uh, grown some uh, fucking dragon wings, does that look like? And uh, what's going on in the in the center, though? Let's get, let's get a little bit of enhance. Yep, we're gonna get a little little CSA analysis, enhance, enhance, yikes, okay, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> enough of that, move on, now we got a, okay, so it looks like we got a, an individual who is a, uh, uh, a part, uh, part cat, part, uh, female, and, uh, it appears that, like, she's, uh, she's only being covered up by a couple of rags, yes, uh, now next we got a, oh, no, no, is that what I, no, what is that, <laughs> I'm turning back into monkey, oh, my god, it's a fucking tail! It's a tail! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta regain my composure. Okay, next we got here, uh... What the fuck is there? There's fucking paw prints! There's paw prints, Lyrics! No! There's a tail! There's fucking tail! Oh, God! Oh, God, yep, the... Uh, Uh-oh! <laughs> anyway, I think we've roasted and bruised and broiled this man enough, so I'm gonna pass it on to the next guy. While he has a lot of potential, as it currently stands, Lyrics just seems like another run-of-the-mill, boring, edgy, and lazy commentary channel. People who enjoy Lyrics' content often compare him to Leafy, but what these people don't seem to realize is that what made Leafy special at the time was the fact that, when he first showed up to the scene, he was actually unique for a small time. Five years later though, and channels like Leafy seem to pop up every day. And as we all know, everyone super. <laughs> no one will be.